Hey beautiful Capricorns, welcome back. This is your bonus reading. Capricorn, please and thank you. Try, someone's trying to avoid judgment here. It's like someone wants a restart with you or wants to extend the olive branch. But they're trying to avoid judgment. So we got a crisis. Oh, what the hell is this all about? We got the... Uh -huh. We got a king of wands who's angry at the king of cups. Why? Because they're talking about you, the empress. Soulmate. So it's like someone is going to a king of cups with their problems. It could be a brother. It could be a brother. What's going on? Why are they angry? Because they got regrets here. Something that they listened to somebody's advice here to reject you the empress so somebody has given them some bad advice that they regret listening to it could be a brother and a brother's wife or something like this i don't know the king of wands went to a brother or a sister-in-law and their advice was this was too big of a burden to reject you or something but this person sees you as solid here. So I don't know if they want to... Somebody want to talk. Taking a risk. So... It is advice. It's shitty advice. Okay, so somebody may have rushed into doing something very rash that they later regret doing. It's like they were getting advice, but it is sh shitty advice. So this person took a leap of faith on that they regret taking because of the advice of other people there is so many people here there's a king and queen of swords a king of cops and a king of wands so they're talking to all these people getting advice and the advice was they regret and they're angry that they listened to this advice so, you're over here doing well. You're moving on. You're healing. You're in the spotlight. You're getting a lot of attention. And now this person's feeling trapped. Because you were their ten of pentacles. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, they made, they ended a situation with you. And now they want a second chance with you. They want to return. But they're stuck in karma here. Or delays or something. So, look. You're doing something very creative over here. You could have started a new business. You could have had things go in your favor here. You, you, you've taken your power back. 
It's what you've done. And you're moving at a fast rate. They were mocking you, thinking that you would never achieve what you've achieved. No. Now they're hurt because you're happy. They're all stressed out. Because they've heard some kind of news here. Someone's jealous here. Someone's spying and they want to know if you, you who who they're oh gee so this person Listen to people who then turned out to be, they believe these lies. And they started judging you, but this is manipulative behavior. Want to cross paths with you? They made their own choice. They want to restart with you. This person is lonely. They know they got competition. They know darn well they're they they're gonna have competition or that they're gonna have to fight for this. So they're having um, fights with their friends. It's like their friends are the ones who have been influencing them. And now they're fighting with those friends. They gave the wrong advice. Their friends have given them the wrong advice. And they're pissed off about it. They're depressed and they're fighting with this friend. These friends who have been giving them all this advice that it's stupid advice. It really is. And they're figuring it out. It's like this person now... They want to have a new beginning with you. And they're arguing with their friends and maybe their peers about it. I don't know. This person misses you. They want to talk to you. It's like they were taking the advice of friends. Relationship advice. And 
Whoever these friends were, they could have been single friends. I don't know. They're listening to bad advice, relationship advice. It's nosy people sticking their nose in your business. They want to come around again. They want to repeat a cycle with you. Someone is jealous. The truth is this person is jealous that you're happy and they're trapped. So they're seeing you living your best life somehow. I don't know. There's too many people involved here. People interfering, sticking their nose in. This is like trying to give too much advice here. And it's piss poor advice. That's what it's saying. It's bad advice. This person wants to return. They're hoping for a second chance here. That's what it's saying. They're, that's what they're hoping for. Take it as it resonates to you. But they, this person is hoping for a second chance. They think that this group of people, friend group, is what's causing all the problems, what's causing all the issues, and quite honestly, it is. I was always taught, you know, there are certain things you should not discuss about your private life, and that's one of the reasons why, because people like to exploit it and give their two cents and their opinions. And before you know it, you're in a situation where you can't get out of because you've said too much or you've, you know, that's where they're at. They've said too much. And so now they're committed, like, to live up to what they've already said. But... This person's going to have to swallow their pride and their ego because they have really listened to some lousy advice from this friend group of theirs. They really did. They That's why they're angry and bitter because... They listen to this advice, but it's the wrong advice. The Someone, they shouldn't have listened to what other people said. They should have followed their heart. Their heart knew, but everyone else was telling them um, the way they should feel or the way that they should think. And, or they feel that about you. So, it's like people shouldn't be involved in your relationship in the first place. Just saying. But now they're arguing with those same people who was given that advice. I mean, take it from where it's coming from. It's bad advice, no matter how you look at it. Do your own thing. Think for yourself. You're not, you know, you're not in a relationship with these people. You're in a relationship with your partner. Yes, that's extended relationships. But your immediate relationship, talk to one another. Instead of talking to everybody else, talk to one another. Because you go out and you say this and you say this and say that. Before you know it, 
then it's like you can't backtrack from the things you've said. You can't take back, you know, if you're asking people's opinions and getting people involved in your relationship, they will be. It just makes it harder to come back from, that's all. It's doable, but it makes it harder. And this person got a lot of backtracking to do. They listened to some piss poor advice. Take care.